Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. That's why you don't throw ender pearls around willy nilly in the nether, right? Stop being on fire. Stop being on fire. Stop. Stop. Stop being on fire. Stop being on fire. Oh my god. Hey there. Biz414 here, back with another City Life episode. And today I'm starting out in the Mesa biome. I'm here picking up some brown stained clay for the project that I want to begin on today, which is my my nether hub. Uh, but figured while I was here getting my materials, I'd show where I've been getting said materials. I've, I'm pretty sure that I've shown this before that I'm ba that I'm hollowing out one of the plateaus in the mesa but just in case I haven't or just in case I have and you haven't seen it this is what I've been doing I've been I haven't been destroying the the terrain to get my to get my stained clay I've just been hollowing it out in here I've got quite a bit of of uh, material stored up I had more than four double chests, I think five double chests, no, five, uh, four and a half double chests of brown stained clay, which I'm going to be using a lot of that in my nether hub, and then I've got tons, The re most of the rest of these, all of those, all of those, all of those, so like 13, have all at one point been full of plain hardened clay, so... Yeah, lots and lots of space hollowed out. I'll probably do something inside of here at some point. It seems a waste to have this big empty area, but uh, that's a project for a different day. So I'm going to head back to the area where I'm going to start the nether hub, which is at zero zero in the nether over where we made the... Uh, the hole in, in the nether ceiling last episode. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way there, which currently, go ahead and load in, I have to walk up this hill and run down this big long hallway. I'm about out of speed boost, so let's take that. terrible it's a terrible trip and this is why I'm starting to try and get a tunnel system set up so that I don't have to do this I don't even have ice on the floor here and there's large portion portions of this that are spanning over lava and the only thing in between me and it is just a block another rack so definitely need to get some work done so I'm going to skip here because this is just going to be a long, long trip. I've got about 400 blocks to go. So I'm going to cut here, and I'll be right back. And here we are. My current unfinished and terrible nether tunnel. It's terrible. Made out of cobble. Alright. So, the area where I want to start this thing is around here. On the 
back side of this derp structure. One of the first things I ever built. This is my first nether outpost. Like the first time, like when I first started exploring the nether, this is where I started. And I had uh, intended to, to uh, make these tunnels branch off, make, you know, branch off of here in all four directions. Like I'm planning to start doing now. Uh, but I just, I never got that far. I, I started this and then just completely, completely stopped. Lost interest, started setting up town over there and built there for the rest of the time I've been in this world. So, this is definitely something that's been a long time coming. So right here is, marks the center of the, the hub and also where the hole in the nether ceiling is going to be. So I, th I decided I was thinking about going lower and doing this at like y equals 60 but because of the way I'm designing it I think that it'll be better to have a little bit higher up. I want to be able to have most of my portals be at overworld ground level which is level 60 about where that portal is I believe would be the correct or very near to the correct Y value so basically the plan will be that coming off of this main hub I'm gonna have these four main tunnels right let me get away from this loud fire I'm gonna have these four main tunnels going in all directions and then places like that where I've got a, a little world where I've got a, a town I've got two different portals there right now I might have a couple more in the future so I'm gonna have like a little mini hub there so basically the tunnel is gonna keep going s straight on but I'll have a little branch where I can hang a right or left and go down a little spirally tunnel to the little mini hub underneath of this one and as I'm going I'll be able to see it out the windows on the side because the the, the tunnel I'm going to build it'll also have windows on the side it'll just be different different materials and different design but uh, you'll be able to see those little hubs and those little outposts here and there from the tunnel so there's gonna be a lot of digging not a lot of digging a little bit of digging mostly getting rid of this cutting a hole in this or just starting to build around it but I'm going to get started on that, and then I'll be back when I've made a little bit of progress, okay? All right. Alrighty, I'm back. And it's actually been several days, like a week, maybe more, since I last recorded here in, uh, here in the single-player world. Just got pretty busy and also stressed with some real-life stuff. I'm not going to go into it, just saying. That's why there wasn't a City Life episode last week. But moving on, I've been quite busy. Um, not sure which direction I want to go to show this. Let's go this way. I've been quite busy getting the nether hub started. I'm going to put my armor on. It is not safe out here. Safe? I don't see anybody. Oh, he's... Yeah, see, I'm still getting them spawning inside of the place. I haven't spawn-proofed it yet. But there it is. Uh, since it's not spawn-proof, I haven't put in the glass. All that nether rack right there on the walls, except for right there. That's going to be a tunnel going out. But right there, right there, those are going to be big windows to get a nice view of the terrain. And until I make it gas proof, it's not going to be completely spawn proof. We'll still get pigmen and the occasional magma cube. But uh, I'm hoping that my design will eliminate those guys once it's done. So let's go ahead and take a look from over here. Kill this guy first. Right 
around the corner. Sneaky. 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 Yeah. Just drop a tear. No. That's okay. I've gotten a couple of them already. But yeah, this is the interior. We've got oak or dark oak roof. The brown clay floor for now. I'm going to do some more to this. And uh, brown clay walls. We've got this big pit in the middle, which is where our minecart stuff is going to go. And we're going to have minecart tracks that go out here on these little paths and this will be glass right here and I was originally going to have this so that you could ride minecarts if you so chose but I think I'm gonna nix that idea um, I'm the, the top side where I have will have the the main tunnels is is going to be a big three by three tunnel for riding mules and horses and whatnot and I think that's how I'm mostly going to get around uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna have more fun doing riding riding around rather on on horseback rather than on minecart so the minecarts are just going to be for storage minecarts mostly just for for transporting mass quantities of, of items from from the hub to other areas or from other areas to the hub like for instance eventually having a tunnel probably going that direction and then that direction to the uh, to the mesa biome and then I could send send stained clay back here via via minecart track and it'll arrive here and then I could take it to wherever else I needed it to go so that's the purpose of the minecarts here like like I said so basically mostly most of my personal travel will be by horseback so yeah um, a couple things I want to get done today is I've got these these structures on the outside and most of this thing is suspended and I might even at some point hollow out around it a little bit more because I've discovered let's come over here real quick I've discovered that right right here this is gonna be a window I've discovered that right let's go this way right up if we go right up here and over here you can see the the wither skeleton farm castle place over there um, I did not realize it was it was this close to the to where I'm doing this little hub. So at some point I might want to to hollow out some of this and make it make a nice window over to that. Because if it's close enough that we can see it from here, that would be really cool. If you could look out from the Nether hub here and see that little little castle thing over there. So I might I might work on that at some point, but uh, these little fiddly bits right here are going to be used to suspend it from the ceiling. Like I want it to look like it's hanging from the ceiling, partially by these things. So on the underside, I've got these little kind of clamps, like little brackety clampy things where it kind of hangs on to the bottom. Let's fill that back in. For now, anyway. So I've got to do a couple more of those. I've got to do one here. And I've got to do one... Uh, two on the underside of here. There. And then on this side as well. So I've got to do five of them. So I'm going to try and get that taken care of and I figured maybe I'd record some of it because it's gonna be pretty precarious so I'm gonna have to bridge out underneath of it probably from over there somewhere or maybe pillar up and do it 
we'll see. First, I gotta do this little one right here. This one will be easy. Just dig it out a little bit. Get out of the way, piggy. All right. And that should be enough of that. We'll get some of these. So basically, I put the chiseled stone brick there. And then just kind of do a little triangle like that. Oh, wait. Nope. That is incorrect. The uh, chisel brick goes there. And then I do the little triangle like this. And then some right there. And then that's the little <coughs> bottom side of the bracket. I hear it guessed. Now, I made the roof out of wood, which... Once I no longer have guests inside and uh, get the, the tunnels done so that I'm not really traveling outside of this thing near it, it won't. I won't really have a, a, a problem of anything catching fire as long as I don't have gas spawning in here. So let's go over here and figure out how we're going to get the other little underside fiddly bits. I have a way down right here. Let's make sure there's no ghasts. Which I'm sure there is one. I hear him. Alright, so there's our first little piece. And I think I'm just gonna pillar up right about right about here. Just have to be careful not to get shot off of here by a ghast, but I've got feather falling on my boots, so I think I should be okay. This doesn't seem that high up. There. Quick and easy. It'll look really cool once, once I've got the glass in, because I'll have glass on the floor as well in these spaces. And glass down there. It'll look pretty neat once it's once it's complete, I think. I I I've, I've got it worked out in uh, creative. And that's actually why I did so much of this off camera is cuz there's a lot of since it's a circular build, there was a lot of going back and forth looking at that build, coming back here, mm -hmm. fixing stuff and so on. So I didn't want to didn't want to have too many cuts, you know. But uh, it looks pretty neat in in creative, and uh, I might have to do a little bit of of hollowing out down here too. If I if I go through with with knocking out some of the stuff around here, whoa whoa, careful there. Um, it would it would look it look cooler. I think if more of it is suspended so right now we've got about half of it resting on top of this cliff here so let's see right about here this is easier than I thought it was gonna be I was really really scared about doing this it's not so it's not so bad and right back down and I do have some more little fiddly things that I'm gonna have to do on the uh, on the other side right there so we'll do those next I think if I can all right stupid slow sand here soul sand rather all right, go up here and do the last one you are the last one right yeah you are Oh, come on. Doot, doot. There we go. Back down. And let's go over here and get this little fiddly part. Hop, hop, 
pop. This one's a little different because it's like kind of like a U bracket that comes underneath of it. So let's see. I should actually probably be out here a little bit for some of this. Now I believe it went. Uh oh, I hear bad sounds. I believe it went just like this. Come over here around for that ghast. I need some uh, stairs on my bar and also some of these guys. You know what, let's eat. And get these guys. Now let's see. I'm going to have some of these little guide wires right here like that and then I think I had one of those yeah and then I gotta go backwards a little bit one of is that far enough out yep one of those and then I think it was yeah it was like this do the same thing over on this side. And this is just just aesthetic, obviously, since it's Minecraft. There's not really physics. But I kind of wanted it to look like this thing. Were this real? I kind of wanted it to look like this thing had ample support for it to be for it to be hanging from the ceiling like this. Oops. Get that one back. All right. Get back down. Yeah, that's all of that. Stuck back a little bit. So that's how that'll look. I'm not going to do the other ones right now. I've got to do three more of those. I'm not going to do those right now. I did one of them off camera. That's enough. I want to go up top and show how I'm going to do the, the top brackets. And then there's maybe one other thing that I'd like to do if I have time to get to it today. My way up was over here. Right? Yep. Right here where this torch is. Hop back up here. There we are. I don't think. No, I can't. I used to be able to jump up there from there, but I moved it. I terraformed the the nether rack back a little bit. I have more room to work. We can get up right here. Yes, sir. All right. So right here is the top of that bracket, that U bracket we just made. So it's going to go like this. Mm -hmm. Like that. Not like that. Can I jump up here? I can. And I don't know if I'll be able to reach. Oh, I can reach. That's awesome. All right, we'll have some of that coming down and just for... Just for a little extra visual flair, a little bit of green here and there. Because this is a otherwise very, very monotone or two-tone build. Mostly just brown and gray. So a little bit of green here and there will help it to stand out. But that's how the, uh, these would be like little, like they're supposed to be like little guide wires supporting, helping to support this thing. I'll have some more of those here. Which I think I did like this, like this, like this, I think. Um, 
I don't think that's right. Is it like that? No, it was... It was like this. Yeah. Pretty sure it was like that. And then the guide wire comes from here. Can I reach? Oh, I can. But I don't want to do it on that one. So let's go up here and right there. That looks a little better. I didn't want it just poking out of one block. This makes it look a little more like it's embedded deeper into the 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 rock. Netherrack, whatever's. There. So we'll have those on the corners. There's another one. Some stairses. And then that guy. And that guy. Yeah. And then another one of these guide wires here. That's fine. Oh. I made it off. Off to the one side. Dang it. Can I reach that? I can't. Let's take these back out. <sighs> can't reach. Alright, we want it right here. My bad. There we go. Yep. So then I'll have, have those on the corners. I'll have another one of those right here for the uh, for the for the U bracket, which I've got to go and do uh, the underside of still. But this is where it'll go. Excuse me, sir. You seem to be in the way. You're in the way. Get out of the way. Dang it. All right. So yeah. So that's where the other one will go. Which I might as well just do this now. There we go. And again, some of this might be getting removed as well. We'll see. Um. Yeah. So that's how those are gonna work. And I'll do I'll do the rest of those off camera. Did a couple of them on. Let's go ahead and step back real quick and see how that looks from over here. And hopefully not get shot by any ghasts in the process. Oh, hello. get any of the wood, did you? Please mm -hmm. tell me you did not. I don't think he did. Alright, so that's how that's going to look from out front. Pretty good. I like I like that look. And then there's going to be one other thing that's really going to add to that feel. Button. me in. Alright, as far as what I need in my inventory, I need this and let's take that. Mostly those. And then I'll need some of this, some of this. Maybe that. Yeah. Stupid magma cube. Oh man, get out of here. Get away, get away, get away. All right, they can be down there. You get away, get down there. Don't be mad. All right, so this is where I'm going to have the 
ladder up to the nether ceiling. And it's going to begin right here. And I'm just going to do this pattern on this side where the ladder is to start out. Just as kind of a guide. One, two. Two of those. Two of those. Maybe I should just go ahead and do this all the way up. Two of those. Two of those. Two of those. This might be far enough. For now, I want to be able to survive the drop down. Alrighty. And then ladders going up. Like that. Let's do a couple more. I leave off with stone brick, so then chiseled, and then two more stone, and ladders the rest of the way up. Oops. That's why I put the axe on the bar. Ladders the rest of the way up here. There we are. To our big oversized hole in the nether ceiling. Let's go back down. Knock these out. Smack. Alright, I need to eat before I die. I know that's a waste of food, but I don't care. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and put the ladders up. Like that. Alright, now... Let's see. Basically, what I want this to be is like a uh, a big giant chain. So the way I'm going to have that, like get that look, is I'm going to kind of alternate this pattern. Oops. Yeah, you can go too, I guess. But uh, on the sides where there's not ladders, instead of having just regular stone bricks. I'm going to have slabs. And then... Hmm. How's the best way to do this? I want to have a gap here. So maybe I just have to do this. And then get you back. And then come down here and do that. That's what I'm going to have to do. And that. And that. there, right there, and right here, right here, there, there, just on like that, and then on the front side, where are you, don't shoot me, on the front side we'll have like that. Place. Not there. There. Right? No, I was right the first time. Like that. Yeah. Get rid of you. Like this. And I wonder if I place. Oh, I can. So let's place you right there. Yep. Awesome. And then right there. Yep. More of you. One of you. This is awesome. This is uh, way easier than I thought. Oops. Not that one. Uh-oh. You probably are going to see me. Right there? Yes. 
Now, one thing is I don't know if they'll be able to see me through this gap or not. So that could be an issue. Like of them shooting at me as I go up here. But I think I'll risk it. Alrighty, and then come back down here and repeat that on the sides. So I'm going to repeat that on the sides real quick, and then we'll step back and take a look, okay? Alright, I'm back. I got that done. There it is. Again, it's supposed to look like a chain. A big, giant chain. So that's like one link. And then come to the other side. And then that's another link. And it would look better if I didn't have solid blocks here. So in the future, I might... I've considered doing like a minecart elevator tucked in here. And then I could do slabs here and just basically have my minecart sitting right here on top of this ladder. And I could do that every every link. And then it would look more like a chain. But for right now, having the solid block there so that I can just have a standard oops ladder is fine with me. Um, right now I'm going to I have a little access point right here from the ladder to get down here to the uh, to where the minecart stuff is going to be when I start working on it. I've got of course the ground floor of the of the hub and then going up here we've got the uh, the hole to the nether ceiling and I did find out that ghasts can see me through here and can shoot me through here but if I climb quickly I shouldn't have much of a problem with it and I'll have windows so I can check and make sure there's none like right by me if I want to come up here but that's it for for the top right now uh, maybe eventually I'll make the make some sort of little arch or clamp or something to, to make it look like it's supporting supporting that thing down there but right now this is just basically the top of the chain let's go ahead and go back down I'm gonna take a look from outside so you can see what it looks like from afar and hopefully you'll be able to see it all right let's go oh and also should mention that eventually this chain will extend down below the uh, the structure as well so let's go ahead and come out here go out here and this by the way is a is a throwback to when you could only grow nether wart in the nether so I had this big giant nether wart farm and I would just AFK here or I would come over here harvest big giant mushrooms let me back out Alright. No, let me let me out. Stupid doors. There we go. So that's what the chain looks like. Uh oh. I gotta pay attention to where I'm going, man. Alright, there's a way out right here. Let's go over here. Oh, hello. You're right there. So yeah, so there's the chain going up into the ceiling, and like I said, it'll extend down that way. If we go, let's go over there. Yeah, you can barely see it sticking out right there. What about if we climb the back side of this hill? Yeah. yeah, you can see it. You can see it pretty good from here. So yeah, that I want it to look like that big, huge chain, which will be, imagine it going all the way through. I want it to be like that is supporting the majority of the weight of this thing. And then these little cables on the edges are little guide wires. And then going forward as I get that, tunnel extended 
the uh, the brown one, not the co not the cobblestone one. That I've got to tear all that down. And uh, the original, I don't I I don't even want to call it a hub. But I got to tear that down as well. But uh, yeah, as I continue this these uh, these tunnels off of the four in the four directions, every I think 25 or 50 or so blocks. I'll have another one of these little clamps like that going up to the ceiling. So it'll look like even the little, the, uh, the tunnels are suspended. So, yeah. I think that's going to be it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.